Hello and welcome to Game Week 12. Now today I have a very special guest, up and coming YouTuber. Um, recently hit a thousand subscribers, really good football vlogger, and it very, really, really, very helpful with, uh, for me to help improve my channel. He had been to the Women's Euro Final, he did a vlog on that, he did a vlog on the, uh, the Men's Euro Final, he did a vlog at our playoff final. Unfortunately, in the Wickham end, but I'll make sure that you get into our end next time and see the atmosphere from our perspective because it'll be fantastic, I assure you. Hopefully at Millwall away. Um, the link will be in the description and that is Sam Payton. First and foremost, I do just want to say thank you very much for having me on the channel. This is the first collab that I've done with another YouTuber, so it's very, very nice to be here. And without further ado, I'll give you my first prediction. Hull against Luton is an interesting one because both sides are massively underperforming at the moment, not doing well at all. Hull conceding 21 goals so far this season as well. I do expect Luton to just about edge it. I don't think there's going to be many goals. So for that reason, I'm going to go for a 2-0 away win for Luton. Thank you, Sam. So, our first game is Hull versus Luton. Uh, Sam, you can predict it uh, 2 0 to Luton, which, to be fair, Hull aren't doing very well this season. Uh, but, nor are Luton either. Really, they're mid table. They were doing a lot better last year. I think it could be Hull 1, Luton 1. One of the things that's always interesting when it comes to the start of the season is how very little points differentiate between two league positions. Six places between Blackburn and Millwall, separated by just two points. Blackburn have got quality in their side, and I do expect them to take the three points in this game. I think it's going to be a very narrow win for them. I think they're going to win this one 2 1. Next up, Blackburn versus Millwall. Um, I am going to agree in terms of Blackburn winning, but I think it'll be quite narrow. Millwall are quite a good team, to be fair. They've got all right defence. I think it'll be Blackburn 1, Millwall 0. This one I'm going to keep short and sweet. It's Blackpool versus Norwich, and I think there's going to be only one winner in this. I think it's going to be quite a big scoring game. I'm going for Blackpool 0, Norwich City 6. I think they're going to blow them out of the park. Norwich have looked pretty good this season. A little shaky at the start, but they've picked themselves back up. Blackpool have not looked good, and I do think that they are going to get hammered in this game. Blackpool versus Norwich next, and I don't think they'll lose 6 nil. I mean... If they do, I really should have put a bet on that. But I do think they will lose. I think it'll be Blackpool 1, Norwich 3. So again, uh, agreeing on the outcome, but not on the result. But if it does become a um I'll, I'll give you a fiver. Bristol City at home to QPR is a very, very tricky fixture to predict. There's only one point between these two sides. However, QPR have got a very good young squad. Bristol City losing their last two games. I'm half tempted to go for a QPR win. However, I am going to go for a draw in this game. I think there's going to be goals. I'm going for a 2-2 draw. Bristol City versus QPR next. And Bristol City were a tough team to break down. It did take us uh, nearly to the end to, and a comeback to actually... Uh, win that game at Bristol City away. QPR came back against us when we were 2 0 up and ended 2 all. So uh, they're both very good teams, to be fair, and uh, Bristol City shouldn't be as far down as they are. I am going to agree again on the outcome. But not the result. I'm going to go Bristol City 1, QPR 1. Now, Burnley's change in footballing style this season under Vincent Company has been one of the most interesting stories in the football world this season. Cardiff, on the other hand, are still looking useless. I think if Burnley can change those draws into wins and be more consistent on that front, I think they'll be right up there at the end of the season. To be fair, I think they will anyway. I think that they are going to win this game narrowly, and I think it's going to be 2-1 to Burnley in this game. Cardiff and Burnley next stand. Uh... Cardiff haven't started the season. Well, they started the season very well, but they haven't continued that form. And I do think they will be one of the team um, down there uh, in the relegation spot all throughout the season. I don't think they'll score in this one at all. And I think it'll be Cardiff nil, Burnley too. Burnley are a fantastic team and they will be going straight back up. Coventry at home to Middlesbrough. Two teams that are really, really not doing well. Coventry especially, still without their first win of the season. Are they going to be able to get it against a team with such prestige as Middlesbrough? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go with a risk for this one. And I'm going to say yes, Coventry are going to win this one narrowly 1-0. Mark my words, Coventry are getting their first win of the season. Coventry versus Middlesbrough and Coventry... They scraped the draw against us. They probably should have won on the third game of the season, but ever since then, they haven't looked very good at all. 
Middlebrony of a hang, they beat us. And again, they're down at the bottom. I don't know how we didn't beat no team, but they are beating um, good teams like Reading, joining against Watford. So not too sure what's going on there. But I don't think Coventry will go for win for this one. I don't think Middlebrot either. I think they'll share the points and it'll be Coventry 1, Middlesbrough 1. Reading at home to Huddersfield is a game that really should be dominated by one team and that is Reading. Third place against 23rd and there's really, as I say, only one winner. However, I think that Huddersfield are going to pick up some points in this game and I do think they're going to draw this one, surprisingly, 1-1. One, one. I'm going out there for some of these predictions. Reading versus Huddersfield next and... With Reading being in third place, yeah, we beat them 3-0 at their place. Huddersfield are down in 23rd. And uh, yes, they may have got a win last week against Cardiff. But I couldn't see it going one way. So Reading 2, Huddersfield 1. Rotherham at home to Wigan. Now, Rotherham have picked up some pretty good results so far this season. Find them around mid-table, just above Wigan. But I do have a feeling that Wigan are going to turn up in this game, maybe take some points. And I think that there's going to be goals in this game as well. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw in this fixture. Rotherham versus Wigan next. Uh, Rotherham are... Um, uh, I don't really know the word for it, but they're, they're in a spot that I think... Um, they, they shouldn't be. I don't think they're a very good team. I don't know how they're up there, but I still think they're going to be down there at, by the end of the season. They've just started off the season um, with a bit of luck there. Could be wrong, of course. They're against Wigan. Rotherham versus Wigan. I think they're both very boring teams. I'm going to go Rotherham nil, Wigan nil. So agreeing on the draw there but I don't think there'll be any goals. Sheffield United versus Birmingham City. Now, Birmingham have been useless for a long time, but can Joe Bellingham, Jude Bellingham's brother, provide the difference in this fixture? I don't think so. I think he's way too young. And to be honest, I think the squad around him is just not strong enough. I think there's going to be only one winner in this who will be Sheffield United. And I think that they are going to win this game 3-0. Sheffield United versus Birmingham. And... Birmingham did win 3-1 against their rival from West Brom, remember. Um, I forgot who it won, but he scored the hat-trick. But they are against Sheffield United, who are a very good team. Um, and I predicted to win the league. And I still think they will win the league. I think this will be Sheffield United 3 Birmingham won, so near enough similar. I just think Birmingham will get a goal there. West Brom at home to Swansea. Now, West Brom's downfall, I feel, is only characterised by the appointment of Steve Bruce, a team that were once looking at promotion since his arrival, have found themselves slipping down the table and are now in 21st place. Swansea, on the other hand, haven't had an impressive season by their means at all either. However, I do think that they are going to share the points in this game and I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. West Brom versus Swansea next, and West Brom have only won one game all season, and I don't think they'll get one today. I think Swansea will win this one. Like you know, always back with Swans, and I think it'll be West Brom 1, Swansea 2. I'd just like to add, I will not be back in the Swans when we play you on the 8th of October. No, I will not. Stoke City at home to Watford, who, by the way, are on their fifth manager in a year. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it. But you know what? It's the model that they've gone with, which is clearly working, by the way. However, I do think that Slaven Bilic is a very good manager, especially for this level of club. And I think you always find that there's a new manager bounce, which is why I think that they are just about going to edge this game 2-1. Stoke versus Watford next. And like Sam said, having five managers in the past year is ig mad. And... But they're still up there and they're still doing well. But I don't know why they don't keep their manager for very long. They've actually had 19 managers in the past 10 years with like, the longest reigning manager in that time staying, I think, for two years. Which, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just mental. They just don't keep hold of the manager. They're going to put managers off from going there knowing that they've got a very short um, life cycle of their, their job. I do think Watford will win this one. And I don't know, I still don't know why he got sacked because they're doing all right. And I think it'll be Stoke 1, Watford 2. Now, last but most certainly not least, Sunderland at home to Preston. Now, do you know what? Preston, fantastic at home. Obviously, less so away from home. But Sunderland, what a start to the championship season they've had. Obviously, got promoted last season. I was there and the atmosphere was fantastic. So the atmosphere at the Stadium of Light at the moment must be absolutely unreal. But I do think that Sunderland's good form is going to carry on to this game. And I do think that they are going to win this one relatively comfortably i'm gonna go for a three one sunderland win sunderland back and preston lastly and we have just done fantastic research i'm really proud of how the boys have done this year so far 
our youngsters have really stepped up um, and our new signings as well. Uh, hopefully we'll see Edouard Michoud come on soon, although I believe he got a red card the other day for the under-21s, um, but we'll forget about that one. Benete, he scored two goals the other day uh, for Costa Rica against Japan, and we will be going to the World Cup, and um, I will be rooting for them as well, obviously, as England. I believe we're, def- we're going to win this one, and the reason I think that, because Preston are not very good at scoring goals. They haven't scored many. I think they may have scored three goals this whole season. Uh, I think that we have two wins, six draws, and oh, I don't know how many losses. Not very, not very many losses. They just have it. They don't concede much either. But we're a lot better. We're at home. I do think it'll be a close one because, like I said, they do have a good defence. Their attacking options aren't that great. I think it'll be Sunderland one, Preston nil, and I'm going to go for the scorer to be ooh. Jurisson Thank you very much for having me, guys. Take care, and I will hopefully see you soon. Thank you very much, Sam, honestly, for coming on the channel. Hopefully, it won't be for the last time. And like I said, hopefully, we'll see each other very soon, meet up for a vlog. It's really good to um, meet um, other YouTubers. Like I said, I've just started, but I'm hoping to, to at least be um, up there a bit more um, and get into at least 1,000 subscribers. But thank you, everyone, for watching all my videos all my vlogs um i've got my new flag to come out soon to swansea i've got a few ideas as well like i said this at the fa vars little um series that i'm doing i'm going to continue i will be going to the next game um i'm going to be bovy again bovy versus ivy bridge in the FA Vars round one proper so i will be going to that again so it's nice to uh, support the the non-league teams but other than that i will be seeing you at swansea away and I really look forward to doing that. Hopefully, we'll get another fantastic win and continue our march toward the Premier League. You never know. And do not forget, the most important thing of the day is... Fuck the night.